welcome everyone to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And the topic of today is how to be centered in the midst of all the chaos, the apparent chaos that is happening in the world, how you can really not be affected by it what can you do to stay in a center of yourself in this uh, what seemingly uh, these times that things are up and down all the time and things changing very rapidly there's a lot of confusion um, and uh, fear worry anxiety in the face of uh, this uncertain times so we're going to get into that and i'm going to share things with you i will share with you my own experiences and i will help you and uh, give you some tools how you can deal with it the number one thing i would like to share with you is in the center of yourself and in the center of the universe it's very quiet and nothing is happening. Despite what you're seeing, what appears to be a chaos, ups and downs and craziness, uncertainty, confusion, when you reach deep inside yourself and you bypass your thoughts, your mind, you bypass your emotions, it's all very quiet. It's very still and very quiet and nothing, it goes on. Nothing's happening. You recognize that when you get into a practice of meditation correctly when you do your meditation correctly when you recognize that and you go beyond the mind then you see that everything is very calm and quiet I'm going to tell you a story I'm going to tell you a couple of stories I want you to understand this because sometimes it's I discovered that sometimes sharing a personal story helps other people and they can relate to it. It was in, uh, so what uh, the topic that I like to talk about is how to stay still. How you can stay in your stillness. What is stillness? What does it mean to be still and not to get caught into the pendulum? of life the apparent world the world that appears to be real and we are in contact with it on every moment a daily basis is always in flux it's always ups and downs the nature of the human mind is that wants to create some kind of stability and predictability that I'm going to be doing this every day the world is going to be doing this every day and I'm going to figure out a way to manipulate things how can I be still what can I do I mean number one is to recognize this that this is really a time what is happening right now is a golden opportunity it's really it seems like it's a disaster it's there's the pandemic there's the unrest especially if you're living in the u.s with all all these demonstrations and unfortunate events that have happened recently um but in some ways this is not the uh first time this is happening and uh the wor if you look at the uh, history of of humanity this sort of things been happening 
maybe not to this extreme which is happening right now, but there's always something's going to happen in the world, whether it's a natural disaster or uh, it's a war uh, or something happened to your family or something happens to you financially or physically. The, the life that you're in contact with and you're living is not going to be a smooth ride all the time and things are not going to go your way. That's the nature of the world that appears to be real, this world. So this world that appears to be real, okay, including your body, including your mind, your feelings, it's always going to have ups and downs, ups and downs. It's never going to be steady. It's never going to be like it's going to go your way all the time and it's all going to be peaches and cream. There's always something going to happen, always, no matter what, and no matter who you are, no matter how big and strong you are, doesn't matter how wealthy you are, how you look like, what kind of race you come from, what country you live in, how safe you think you are, it doesn't matter. Even if you move to the country, and you have your farm, you have a uh, sort of living in a community that it sustains itself and it's all lovey-dovey and you have animals there and horses and you're farming and you're taking care of, uh, you're producing your own food and it's very quiet and it's very shanti-shanti and it's very peaceful. Still, something is going to happen that can rock your world and change your world and creates disturbances. And no matter where you go in the world, you still have to take your mind with you. So you can escape your mind, you can escape your emotions, and you can escape your body. So these three elements are going to go with you wherever you go. So we are in this false belief that we're trying to manipulate things continuously to go our way. And it's interesting because life keeps pulling the rock from under your feet. And no matter how good you had it, let's say you had it like this for 60 years, okay? For 60 years, everything was really going my way. And all of a sudden, this thing happens. All of a sudden, this pandemic happens, for example. And it doesn't recognize rich and poor. It doesn't recognize um, that, okay, for 60 years, You've been slick and you're smart and you're a great businessman and you've been an entrepreneur and you're doing really well or whatever, okay? And now all of a sudden you're in deep trouble and you're about to lose everything in, your, in, in, in all your assets or whatever, your lifestyle or this identity that you have about who you think you are and all of a sudden it's being rocked.